Hi friends, in today's video, we are going to be answering this very commonly asked question that how much weight will I lose after my gastric sleeve surgery? Firstly, how much excess body weight do you carry? Now, by that, what I mean is you can literally put your height and weight, height in centimeters and weight in kilograms in a BMI calculator. There are plenty of BMI calculators available online. I'll put a link to one of the BMI calculators in the show notes uh, of this video. And that will tell you what your BMI is. And you can work out what is your excess weight by knowing that the ideal or healthy BMI is about 18.5 to 25. So that will be able to tell you what is the excess weight. What is important to understand is the success of a weight loss surgery operation is defined as minimum 50% weight loss by losing the excess body weight. 50% of your excess body weight when it is lost 12 months after the weight loss surgery, it is considered to be a successful operation. Now, I understand that excess body weight, losing that entire excess body weight that an individual is carrying is very hard. We aim for the ideal, I understand that, but we also need to not lose sight of the perspective that we live in a real world. What I mean by that is, this is what I tell my clients and my patients, that aim for a realistic weight loss. And a realistic weight loss is anywhere between 65 to 70% of the excess body weight. So whatever is the excess body weight that you're carrying, make 65% of that and that will be a good realistic figure to aim for. And that is something which is not only achievable, but understand this friends, we want to make it sustainable as well. I get so many patients who say, no, we want our ideal weight. But what they're not realizing is that it builds a subconscious level of stress. And stress, as I've mentioned in my other videos, is the one factor which is going to sabotage your weight loss efforts with no matter what modality you are using. So talking about that excess body weight and how soon to lose it after surgery, understand this, that the first year is like a honeymoon period. In honeymoon, things are just flowing. Everything is just happening naturally because that is the magic of surgery that is weaving its benefit. It's weaving its effect because of the change in the gut hormones, change in the gut bacteria, and the shift in your metabolism that comes with this. But what is also interesting is that your weight loss is not like a downward incline that from the time you have your surgery to, to 12 months it's just going down 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 no what I say is it's like a step ladder pattern sometimes the weight loss stops for a few days or a week or two maybe and then suddenly there is a drop of a few kilos then again it plateaus then again there is a drop so that's like a typical step ladder pattern that I say and that's how the body shifts its metabolism its weight as you are progressing. And generally speaking, it's the first 12 months that your body will continue to lose weight. For some people, it may extend to 14 months or 16 months, but it's a rough approximate, you know, everyone is different. But here's the key thing. Let's take an example. I always say that suppose you are carrying 100 kilos excess body weight. Let's aim for a realistic figure of 70% is your target. 70% of 100 kilos is you are aiming for a weight loss of 70 kilos, all right? But here's the beautiful thing. Here's what you need to listen because study after study has proven this, that if you lose up to 65% of those 70 kilos, 65% of those 70 kilos in the first six months, your chances of long-term success almost double. Your chances of long-term success almost double. That means in that example that I've just given, if your excess body weight is 100 kilos, you are aiming for a realistic target of 70 kilos of weight loss. 
65% of that is 48.7 kilograms. And if you achieve that in the first six months, your chances of long-term success defined by a sustained weight loss of up to five years almost doubles. That is a fascinating fact because the shift that you have brought about in your metabolism by bringing on the changes in your diet, in your lifestyle, in your stress management techniques, in your water intake, has shifted that metabolism such that it creates a longer lasting effect. And friends, you and I both know that if you have tasted the benefits of a healthy lifestyle, benefits of having the energy, being able to tie your shoelaces, being able to sleep well at night, and being able to bring the energy and vitality to any relationship that means to you, you know that you don't want to go back to that old version of you where life was just a drag and life was just a pain. So thank you once again for listening to this video. If you liked it, please share it with your friends or anyone to whose life this may make a difference. But if you need to know more and stay in touch, do subscribe to my channel and I'd love to keep you updated with my forthcoming content. Thank you and take care.